Definitions by Plato, translated by George Burgess. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Geoffrey Edwards. Eternal, that which has existed formerly through all time and is now not destroyed. God, an immortal living being, sufficient in itself for happiness, an eternal existence, the cause of the nature of the good. Generation, a movement towards existence, a sharing through a change in existence, a progression towards existence. The sun, a fire in heaven which can alone be seen from morning to evening by the same the greatest star visible by day, a perpetually living being possessing a soul. Time, a movement of the sun, a measure of progress. Day, a journeying of the sun from its rising east to its setting west. A light, the opposite to night. Morning, the beginning of day, the first light from the sun. Midday, the time when the shadows of substances have the least length. Evening, the close of day. Night, darkness, the opposite to day, a deprivation of the sun. Chance, a proceeding from uncertainty to uncertainty, and from what is spontaneous, the cause of a fortuitous action. Old age, the wasting away of a thing with life the result of time. Wind, a movement in the air around the earth. Air, an element, all of whose movements according to space are according to nature. Heaven, a substance surrounding all things perceived by the senses, except the uppermost air. Soul, that which moves itself, the cause of vital motion in living beings. Power, that which is able by itself to produce an effect. Vision, the bodily habit of distinguishing substances. Bone, marrow consolidated by heat. Element, that which combines and separates particles brought together. Virtue, a mental constitution of the best kind, a habit of a mortal living being, the object of praise on account of itself a habit according to which that which possesses it is said to be good, a just communion of laws, a disposition according to which that which is constituted perfectly is called steady, a habit effective of a good state of law, discretion, a power effective by itself of the good fortune of man, a knowledge of things good and evil, a knowledge effective of felicity, a mental constitution by which we determine what is to be done and what is not to be done. Justice, an agreement of the soul with itself, and a correct arrangement of the parts of the soul towards each other and about each other, a habit distributive to each person of that which is according to worthiness, a habit according to which he who possesses it can select what seems to him to be just a habit in life subservient to law, an equality that can share in common, a habit ministering to upright laws. Temperance, a moderation of soul relating to the desires and pleasures which exist in it according to nature, a fitness in and correct ordering of the soul as regards its natural pleasures and pains, a harmony in the soul touching the states of ruling and being ruled, a self-acting according to nature, a well-ordering of the soul, an intercourse of the soul founded on reason relating to things honorable and base, a habit according to which he who has it can select and be cautious of what he ought, fortitude, a habit of the soul not to be moved by fear, a boldness in war, a knowledge of the things relating to war, a command over the soul relating to things of fear and dread, a boldness subservient to discretion, a bold bearing under the expectation of death, a habit 
preservative of right reasoning in dangers, a strength of mind balancing the apprehension of danger, a strength bearing up on the side of virtue, a tranquillity of soul with reference to things that appear, according to correct reasoning, to be full of dread and daring, the safe preservation of uncertain determinations relating to things of dread, a skill in war, a habit that can abide in law. Continence, a power enduring pain, a following of correct reasoning, a power not exceeded by that which is perceived by correct reasoning. Self-sufficiency, a completion in the possession of good things, a habit according to which they who possess it are the masters of themselves. Reasonableness, a reduction in what is just and useful, a moderation in compacts, a well-ordering of the soul founded on reason as regards things honorable and base. Endurance, the bearing up against pain for the sake of what is honorable, a bearing up under labor for the sake of what is honorable. Boldness, the non-expectation of an ill, an imperturbability in the presence of an ill. Non-perception of pain, a habit according to which we do not fall into sorrows. The love of labor, a habit that accomplishes what a person chooses to do, a voluntary endurance, a habit not to be cavilled at on the subject of labor. Modesty, a voluntary shrinking from daring on just grounds towards what seems to be the best, a voluntary laying hold of the best, a cautious care of blame on just grounds. Freedom, the ruling power of life, a power ruling by itself on every occasion, a power over that which relates to oneself in life, an unsparingness in the use and possession of property. Liberality, a habit in transacting money matters in a way that is fitting, the adding to and possession of property as is meet. Mildness, the setting down of an excitement arising from passion, a moderated temperament of soul. Decorum, a voluntary yielding to what appears the best, a well-ordering respecting the movement of the body. Felicity, a good composed of all good things, a power self-sufficient towards living well, a consummation as regards virtue, an utility self-sufficient for a living being. Magnificence, the estimation according to correct reason of that which is the most worthy of respect. Sagacity, a natural ability in the soul according to which he who possesses it makes a conjecture in the quickest time relating to what is needful, an acuteness of intellect. Honesty, a simplicity in moral conduct in union with fair speaking, a steadiness in moral conduct. Kalakagathia, a habit of selecting things that are the best. High-mindedness, a gentlemanly use of accidental circumstances, a majesty of soul in union with reason. Philanthropy, a habit of moral conduct that easily leads to a friendship with man, a habit of acting kindly towards men, the having thanks, a recollection with kind conduct. Piety, justice relating to the gods, a power paying attention to the gods willingly, a correct perception of the honor due to the gods, a knowledge of the honor due to the gods. Good, that on account of itself. Fearlessness, a habit according to which we do not fall into fear. Apathy, a habit according to which we do not fall into sufferings. Peace, a quietness as regards enmity and war, listlessness, an easiness of soul, apathy respecting the objects of anger, skillfulness, a habit according to which he who possesses it is able to form a conjecture about the peculiar termination of a thing, friendship, a union of sentiment relating to things honorable and just, the choice of the same kind of life, 
a union in opinion on questions of sect and practice, a union in sentiment relating to a communion in life in combination with kind feelings, a communion in doing well and in suffering. Nobility of birth, the virtue of a noble moral conduct, an easy leading of the soul to words and deeds. Selection, a correct approval after examination. Kind feeling, the selection of a person for the purpose of embracing by a person. Familiarity, a sharing in the same family. Agreement, a sharing in all things existing. A concordance in thoughts and conceptions. Lovingness, a perfect exhibition. Statesmanship, the knowledge of what is honorable and advantageous for a state. A knowledge productive of justice in a state. Sociality, a friendship arising from an association amongst persons of the same age. Good counsel, the cognate virtue of reasoning. Belief, the correct conception of a thing being really as it seems to be. A firmness in moral conduct. Truth, a habit in affirming and denying. A knowledge of things true. A wishing, a desire with right reason. A reasonable longing, a longing with reason, according to nature. Counseling, an exhortation to another person, previous to acting, as to what manner it is meet to act. Fit opportunity, the meeting with the time in which it is requisite to suffer or do something. Caution, a guard against ill, the care of guarding oneself. Order, the working out a similarity in all things existing with a relation to each other, a symmetry of communion, the cause of all things existing with a relation to each other, a symmetry towards learning. Application, a bracing up of the soul for learning, natural ability, a quickness in learning, a good production of nature, an excellence from nature, docility, a natural ability in the soul towards a quickness in learning. Judgment, a peremptory decision respecting a disputed matter. Law, the process of a contest respecting the having done an injury or not. Good legal conduct, an obedience shown to proper laws. Cheerfulness, a delight at the acts of a temperate person. Honor, a gift of good things presented on actions done through virtue a mark of esteem in return for virtue, the outward bearing of what is an object of reverence, the watching of a mark of esteem, alacrity, the exhibition of a practical preference, favor, a voluntary act of kindness, the return for a good act, a ministering at a fit time, concord, a similarity of opinion between rulers and ruled, how they ought to rule, and be ruled. A polity, the community of a multitude of persons self-sufficient for a happy state, the community of a multitude according to law. Forethought, a preparation with respect to things about to be. Counsel, a consideration respecting future things, how they may be advantageous. Victory, a power having the superiority as regards contention a ready way-finding, a ready discrimination that possesses a power over what is thought upon, bribe, the exchange for a favor, opportunity, the point of time suited to what is advantageous, a time that works for some good, memory, a disposition of the soul preservative of the truth that is in it, the keeping in mind, the having thought on the stretch, thinking, the commencement of knowledge, holiness, a religious dread of sins against the gods, an attention to the honor due naturally to a deity, a prophecy, a knowledge that points out beforehand an action without a demonstrative proof, the prophetic art, a science that speculates upon what is now and will be to a mortal being, wisdom, a science not hypothetical, 
a knowledge of things as they happen to exist, a science that speculates upon the cause of things existing. Philosophy, a longing after the knowledge of things as they happen to exist, a habit of speculating upon the truth as to how it is true, a careful study in combination with correct reasoning. Knowledge, a comprehension by the soul not to be changed or cast down by reasoning, the power of comprehending a thing or things not to be changed or thrown down by reasoning, a true reasoning not to be changed or cast down upon reflection. Opinion, a conception to be changed by the persuasion of reason, a rational impetus, a notion falling upon falsehood and truth by not reason, sensation, an impetus of the soul, a movement of mind, a heralding of the soul through the body to the seasons of man, from which there results a power of the soul devoid of reason, having a cognizance through the body, habit, a disposition of the soul according to which we are said to be with certain qualities, voice, a flowing through the mouth from a thought, speech, voice expressed by letters descriptive of each of things existing, a form of language compounded of nouns and verbs without melody, noun, a form of language uncompounded, the interpreter of that which is predicated against being, and of everything which is not spoken of against itself. Language, the voice of a man expressed by letters, and some common symbol acting as an interpreter without melody. Syllable, an articulation of the human voice expressed by letters. Definition, a sentence composed of difference and genus. Proof, the showing forth of a thing not evident. Demonstration, true reasoning founded on syllogisms, a reasoning that makes a matter plain by what is previously known. Element of voice, a vocal sound uncompounded, the cause to the rest of vocal sounds of their being vocal sounds. Useful, the cause of doing well, the cause of good. Advantageous, that which conduces to good. Honorable, that which is good good, the cause of safety to things existing, the cause of all that relates to itself, from which it happens to choose what is meet, temperate, the orderly conduct of the soul, just, an ordinance of law productive of justice, voluntary, that which is drawn on by itself, that which is selected with reference to itself, and completed according to design, free, that which rules itself, moderate, a mean between excess and deficiency, and sufficient according to art, moderation, a mean between excess and deficiency, prize, the reward of excellence that is chosen for its own sake, immortality, an existence endowed with soul and a remaining forever, a holy thing, service paid to a god acceptable to a god, festival, a holy time according to law, man, an animal, wingless, biped, with wide nails, the only one of beings that is a recipient of knowledge founded on reason, sacrifice, the gift of a victim to a god, prayer, an asking for good things, or that seems so, by man from gods, king, a ruler according to laws, not subject to the auditing of his accounts, the chief magistrate in a political constitution, government, the care of the whole, license, a superintendence of law, lawgiver, a maker of laws according to which it is meet for a polity to exist, law, a decree relating to the state made by the multitude not limited to any time. Hypothesis, a principle not demonstrated, the summary of a discourse. A vote, a decree of the state limited to a certain time. Statesman, 
a person skilled in the constitution of a state. A state. The residence of a multitude of persons making use of decrees in common. A multitude of persons existing under the same law. The excellence of a state. A constitution of a correct polity. The science of war. Skill in war. Alliance. A communion in war. Safety. A protection from injury. Tyrant. A person ruling a state according to his own notion. Sophist. A mercenary hunter after the young, rich, and in high repute. Wealth. A possession suited for happiness. An abundance of means tending to happiness. Deposit. A thing given with faith. Purgation. A separation of the worse from the better. To conquer. To possess the power when having a difference. A good man. Such a one as is able to effect good for a person. A temperate man. One who has moderate desires. A continent man. One who has a power over the portions of the soul contending against right reason. A steady man. One who is perfectly good. One who preserves his virtue. Conscience. A reflection with pain, without reason. Indocility. A slowness in learning. Lordship. A just government, not subject to the auditing of accounts. Dislike of wisdom. A habit, according to which he who has it, dislikes reasoning. Fear. A consternation of the soul on the expectation of ill. Passion. A violent impetus without reason. Mind of regulation of soul without reason. Consternation. A fear on the expectation of ill. Flattery. A conversation to gratify without the best. A habit of conversing to gratify exceeding moderation. Anger. An exhortation by passion to revenge. Insult. An injury leading to dishonor. Intemperance. A habit forcing a person contrary to right reason towards what seemed to be pleasant. Hesitation. A flight from the commencement of labors. Cowardice. That which lays hold of and detains a rushing on. The cause of a mental contraction. A beginning. The first cause of existence. Calumny. The setting friends apart by a word. Opportunity. That in which it is fitting to do and suffer each thing. Injustice. A habit disregardful of laws. Want. A diminution of good things. Shame. A fear on the expectation of dishonor. Vaingloriousness. A habit of laying claim to a good or good things not belonging to a person. Sinning. Acting contrary to right reason. Envy. A pain at the good things of friends, which either are or have been. Shamelessness. A habit of the soul that endures dishonor for the sake of gain. Rashness. The excess of boldness in the case of dangers which it ought not. A love of honor, a habit of the soul, lavish of every expense without consideration. Natural depravity, a badness by nature, and a sinning in that which is according to nature, a disease of that which is according to nature. Hope, the expectation of a good. Madness, a habit destructive of a correct perception. Talkativeness, intemperance in speech, devoid of reason. Contrariety, the greatest standing apart of things that according to a certain difference fall under the same genus. Involuntary, that which is brought to an end contrary to intention. Instruction, a power that has the cure of the soul. Instructing, the delivering of instruction. Legislation, the science that renders a state firmly fixed and without suffering. Admonition, a speech that finds fault from design, a speech for the sake of turning aside from error. Assistance, the hindering an ill either existing or in the way of existing. Punishment, a curing of the soul for an error committed. 
power, a superiority in doing or speaking, a habit according to which that which possesses it is powerful, a strength according to nature, to preserve, to protect from hurt. Science is a knowledge without stumbling. End of Definitions